What's going on guys, it's Caleb here, and let's jump right into this tutorial of how to use Descript. It's been a little bit longer than I would have liked it to have been, so let's jump right into it. Take a look at this card right here. Now this is gonna be your saving grace because this has your, what you're gonna learn and at what times in this video so you can scrub along the bottom. Um, I'm just going ahead, I didn't realize how many of you guys would actually be interested in uh, the full step-by-step -step for Descript. I was pretty taken back, so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and post this in the group and make this open to everyone everybody who wants to learn and, and use it. Quick disclaimer, I have no affiliation with Descript as a company. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid to make anything like this. Um, I, I don't have anything to sell you. This is just something I wish I knew when I was starting out as a sales rep. So let's go ahead and I want to show you the full step-by-step -step of how I use Descript. I've got a call I want to upload and I'm going to show you from start to finish what I do, how to use the software and some extra cool tidbits that um, you, know, you can implement when you use it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's come right into my computer here. So looking at my computer, this is what Descript looks like uh, from the get-go. You're going to have your home page right here. Now, let's say I want to import a call. I've got a triage call right here. You're just going to go ahead and start in the top right corner and hit new. New project. Project. I like to give these, I have a special way I like to title them so I, I know kind of what account it's on. And I'm going to call this one raises.com. That's the business I work for. This was a triage. And then what was the name of the guy? Giancarlo. And yeah, create project. Cool. I have 30 minutes of transcription left. Thankfully, the triage call is shorter than that. So once you've got your, your project titled, you don't have to date it because um, it automatically dates uh, your projects and when they were created. So let me go ahead here. Uploading my call audio, grab your audio file and just drop it right into the middle here. If you have a video file, it works just the same. I did want to do a video for you guys today, but um, I, it, 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 uh, I, I didn't want to show the prospect's face and stuff along those lines. So detect speakers from the get-go, detect speakers. This is the beauty. You can select two. Now it's going to go ahead and try to automatically detect speakers. Let me go ahead and pause the video and I'll come back to you when the transcription is finished. Right now it's it's automatically transcribing. Sometimes it takes a minute, so I'll save you the time. Cool, so it's been about 30 seconds. The transcription process is 82% done. Um, once you identify the number of speakers, you get a notification in the bottom right corner, speaker detected. Yep, transcription's completed. So let's do get started. Yeah, no worries. So it plays you a little sample of the clip. Hello. No worries. Yes, so that is going to be Caleb. That one's me. Okay. Yeah, so or, kind of how we yeah. operate at raises. Um, that's me too. Sometimes you can select two. Sometimes it'll glitch out and say three. Uh, it's not no, always yeah, perfect. Yeah, that, that would be new to me. I, I... Okay, and that speaker is Giancarlo, prospect Giancarlo, that speaker. Excellent. And boom, just like that, you've now got your whole call broken down between who's speaking and when. Cool. So now the transcription is not perfect. Let's jump into the technical details of how I use Descript. So for starters, as far as editing things, so let's just hit play and follow along for a moment. Hello. Hey, John. Okay. So right there, there was a little bit of a hiccup. I didn't say that Giancarlo did. So what I can do is here, click, hit the enter, and then just switch the speaker to Giancarlo and make this one Caleb. Hey Giancarlo, it's uh, it's, it's just Caleb with raises.com. So looking at that, um, Giancarlo didn't realize it was a name, so what you can do is you highlight the whole entire thing, and then you hit the key E, and then Giancarlo. And then just hit correct, and then click on your word here, hold E and click Caleb, change the spelling, raises.com. How are you? Hey, how, how are you, man? Everything good? I'm, I'm doing well. Speaker's off. Yeah, so sometimes you have to fiddle with who the speaker actually is. Various documents that... All... Yeah, so right here we've got a typo. So let's just go ahead and highlight that and then press E to correct. And ver... Various. All right, so now as far as actually transcribing your call and beginning to break it down into detail, the call's already transcribed, but let's say there's a certain part of the call you want to look at. Let's look at problem awareness. I feel yeah. like the current the current process that, that, that you've been going through, has it kind of it, has it been as structured as you would have liked it to be? 
Boom. So I've got a question there, and he says, uh, "No, no." So what I like to do is I like to highlight my questions as you like it to be. Just click and drag over the whole entire thing, and then hit the bold button up here. You click the little plus up here, and then hit comment, and just say, "What type of problem was this? This was a problem awareness question," and I post it. Sweet, now that's marked forever. And then, uh, no. Just like to highlight what the emotion was. It was uh, a negative emotion. Now there's a lot of other stuff that you can do, voice file, audio recording, track, overdub, maker, inline comment. Most of this stuff is irrelevant as the software was not originally intended for sales calls, but um, inline note is sometimes pretty cool where you can put in extra feedback that's not comment. So you can just click the plus, click inline note, and then you can just say feedback that you've got for that. It was like, could have been, could have been delivered smoother. And now you've kind of got that feedback there. And so it comes down to how scrupulous you want to be ultimately. Do you want to be super nitpicky, tear your calls apart? I recommend doing that. Just drop a call in here, absolutely pick it to pieces, use all the different features, highlights, take notes of different things, and then be able to reflect upon it. So let's switch to the sharing the call aspect. What happens if you want to share this call with somebody? So you come up here to the top right corner and you click the share button. Now, this is very similar to Google Docs in a sense where you see the link here. It says anyone with link cannot access. The owner is going to be me at my company email.com. What do you do? Switch that to can comment. Who can comment? Members of my drive. Don't worry about the whole drive thing. Just switch it to can comment. That's more than enough. And then you can copy that link right there. And now that link is universal. You can share that with anybody on the web and they will be able to access your Descript recording alongside the notes that you've made and they can reply to them. So if you've got a sales coach or someone who wants to give you feedback, they, it asks you to sign in, but if they've got an account too, um, they can give you feedback and whatnot, or you can do it live. Now, as far as playing your recordings, this interface is the same in shared recordings as it is on the actual software. You can see the little timestamp, the forward, the play pause, and the speed adjustment. It's the same as in the software. Um, press the middle one to play, obviously. Uh, this one to pause to seek forward five seconds. Not and then you can do that if you'd like. If you want to play your call faster, click the little speed dial here and come up to 2x speed. Get the second one done, but all in all, looking for a little bit more of a structured process, maybe. Yeah. Um, like, do you feel like it's you're kind of hoping for this first one? Like, once you go through that and get that done, then the second one's going to. That's really it. That's that's the high level of how to use Descript. Um, it's not super complicated. It's very intuitive. And I wish you guys best of luck to using this. And a little something extra for you know some of you either beginner sales reps, if you're new to the sales space and you're really like serious about um, taking your development to the next level. If you've watched the video this far, clearly you are. Um, I recommend that you actually just make the investment into joining the Closing Code group. I know it's $50 per week, $25 for your first week. But if you're in the U.S., just a quick little life hack to realize is that it bills an Aussie, A-U-D, instead of USD. Which So the $50 a week, which is billed every two weeks at 100 bucks, is really only like 75 U.S. And then it's a little bit uncomfortable at first, but once the rebill hits two or three times, you eventually forget about it. And I have to say it's one of the best things that I've purchased over the last year. Practice live and role play live with the actual coaches of Sales Sniper. Taking those transcriptions and putting them in in combination with the live feedback from coaches, um, you're deadly. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you've got any questions or there's other things you'd like to know that I haven't covered in this video, please comment them down below and I can either reply to you or make a little loom video or something like this just explaining how you can do what you're trying to do. But all in all, Descript is really, really simple. So with that, I wish you guys the best and uh, keep crushing it.